Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I thought I would do a uh, video with Vulture on how to set up cPanel rather easily. Just because my other Vulture video is doing rather well, I think it's my best video. But uh, yeah, anyways, this video is going to be about how to set up cPanel fast and easy. If you aren't already subscribed, go ahead and consider subscribing below. If you like the video, please leave a like, and if you want notifications, turn the notifications bell to all. Anyways, if you don't have a Vulture account already, uh, use the link I have below in my description, which will give you, I believe, $100 of free credit for 30 days. If you do already have an account, let's go ahead and get started. You're going to want to go over to this blue plus uh, circle thing over here and click deploy a new server. You can leave it on cloud compute, select the most optimal location for yourself. I recommend just the, uh, the closest server to yourself or the closest server to your users. For me, I'm going to click uh, New York, New Jersey. Okay, and then here's where we click uh, cPanel. So you're going to want to navigate over to Marketplace Apps. Scroll until you find cPanel. Go ahead and select that. And you will notice that there is a $19 premium per month on cPanel just because cPanel is a uh, third-party service and they only charge for their uh, for their software. So you'll see here that you'll be paying a premium of $19 extra a month, not including the server price. And yeah, yeah, that's basically it. And you'll see that it deploys on CentOS 7, which is default for uh, CentOS. And you'll notice that the first available server option you can select is the $10 a month plan. Now this is because cPanel, these are the uh, minimum requirements for cPanel to be able to run. cPanel is a heavy application that is written in Perl, which is not really so well optimized for um, low resources, let's say. Okay, scrolling down, feel free to enable or not enable IPv6, private networking. Oops. Did not mean to click that. Let's go ahead and see if it saves our options if we go back. And it doesn't, so I'm just going to go real quick do this again. Marketplace apps, sent the West. And yet again, I clicked the wrong thing. Okay, this will leave the $10 a month option set. Enable IPv6, enable private networking, block storage compatible. And then, you know, if, if DDoS and all that's a problem with you, you can uh, enable auto backups and DDoS protection. They are offered at premiums. Next up, you're going to want to select the SSH key to SSH into your server. If you don't already have a SSH key, go ahead and open up your terminal, type ssh-keygen-trsa-b for your bit size. Uh, I recommend 8192 bit security. And go ahead and click enter and just follow the prompts uh, from there. And then next, you're going to want to copy the your SSH key from uh, your home directory. So uh, tilde forward slash dot ssh idrsa dot pub and you're going to want to open this file you can use cat and just click enter and you'll see your ssh key pop up here you're going to want to copy this whole string make a new ssh key and paste it in there and save it and then just select that option and then this ensures that you'll be able to connect to your uh, your new server seamlessly okay scrolling down you're going to want to Select a firewall group if you already have one set up. If you don't, no worries. Just leave it set to no firewall. Now you're going to want to give your server a name. I'm just going to name mine cPanel because I'm not going to have this server running for long. And then finally, you're going to want to click deploy. After your server finishes deploying, you'll see a status of running here and a little blue play arrow. What you're going to want to do is go ahead and click the name of the server you made scroll down until you see this uh, application information section and then you'll notice they gave you a uh, URL here that goes to WHM and what you're going to do is just click this URL go ahead and click advanced and accept the risk and continue anyways now that's just because that's a self-signed certificate because you can't really get a uh, an actual certificate for a IP address domain anyways let's go ahead and go back to Vulture Copy your username, paste the username here, and notice that uh, the pass is set to the server root password, so you're going to want to go up here, click copy password in the password section, and then take this password back to WHM, paste it, click login, and you can see we're now in the loading screen. We have successfully logged in. Let's go ahead and read through the, uh, 
<laughs> the following terms they have for us and then just click agree okay now you're gonna want to set the email address that the server will send status updates and error notifications to for me I'm just going to use my modern geek official gmail email and then you're gonna to want to set the name servers uh, that the you're gonna to want to set the name server cpanel we use to uh, propagate your domains with for me I'm just gonna use Google and I'll use their backup DNS server go ahead and click finish oh excuse me that's not uh, Google's name servers those are Cloudflare's name servers there is a uh, big difference I'll make another video on those hopefully but uh, yeah anyways you can see that we have successfully logged in here and now we have the full power of cpanel slash whm behind us and we can go ahead and use the full functionality here and we did this all pretty much within uh, just 60 seconds like Vulture advertises that was pretty much a one-click install and trust me installing cpanel manually is definitely a bit tougher and uh, if you take note here in the top right it says there's a new version available let's go ahead and click up, uh, upgrade and you can see that cpanel is successfully running an upgrade So everything appears to be working correctly. It looks like it's going ahead and updating the Linux C panel sync binary. Let's navigate away from that. It's probably not ideal if you plan on keeping the server for long, just because that's probably not running in a job. But anyways, just some C panel basics. In the top right, you have your load averages. Uh, so for example, let's say this server is uh, one core. This first load average thing here that says three is the server's one minute load average. So that means uh, you really shouldn't be going above one since you only have one core, but we're at three right now, which shows you how heavy cPanel's uh, CPU usage is. And then as you can see by the uh, tooltip here, five minutes, 0.74, 15 minutes, 0.3. So the long-term load averages are looking rather good. And yeah, so this is ba pretty much the basics of setting up cPanel on Vulture. Uh, it's pretty much a full installation since we're paying that premium of $19 a month we have the full functionality of WHM and cPanel so if you wanted to start a hosting company this would certainly be a good option for you especially if you don't have much uh, server administration uh, skills but yeah let me know what you think thank you for watching and uh, yeah feel free to subscribe leave a comment if you need help and have a nice day